gardening friends. I am excited because today I'm going to harvest, pull out, remove, excavate, whatever the terminology is, all of my ranunculus corms from this year. So I live in a zone seven in Sitka, Alaska, and it is not um, nice enough here throughout the winters, unfortunately, to be able to keep ranunculus in the ground. I think they're like a zone nine loving plant or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and so we are going to take them out. We're going to clean them off, dry them, and then I'm going to store them and then hopefully replant them next spring. I also, this is my first time ever growing ranunculus and it was my first time ever doing a flower just for the purpose of doing a cut flower. And I gotta say, I am a believer now. I want to make one or two full eight foot by two foot garden beds next year, just cut flowers because I ended up having so much fun, you guys. And I got so much enjoyment coming out here and being able to enjoy the flowers and cut them. And I put so many invases in my house. I just, all of June, July, and beginning of August, I was putting tons of flowers and now it's finally at the end of its kind of cycle here, but it was just so lovely. And when I had guests stay, I made little bouquets for each of their rooms and it just really filled me with joy, surprisingly. Like I just didn't expect to enjoy it so much. And so I felt really inspired by this year with the ranunculus. I also thought they were the most incredibly beautiful flowers that I have seen in a very long time. I just felt like they were so delicate and they had so many layers of the petals and they were just so beautiful and they came in such a wide variety of colors. And so next year I would really like to expand that. Um, but this is also going to be my first winter experimenting with taking them out fully and drying them and putting them in. I did hold them last winter, all winter long dried in the garage. Um, so I think they'll be fine just the same way I did them last year. Um, but we will see. Also, I have quite a bit of stuff growing over where the ranunculus were growing. Um, the nasturtiums are kind of going wild over here. So we're going to have to get all that stuff out of the way, dig them up, hopefully find them all, and dry them, clean them and dry them. So let's get started. Also, before we get started, I did tuck a whole bunch of wildflower seeds in along this bed. Obviously, the grass grew, but tons and tons and tons of poppies have come, come up. And like, there's so many more ready to bloom, which I'm just so excited about. All different poppies. They are so pretty. And they're just kind of mixed in with all the nasturtium blooms. And then this other flower came up, which hopefully someone here can help me identify. I don't know what it is. It was, it was in a um, variety pack of wildflower seeds. And it seems like the poppies really wanted to come up. And whatever these are. Look at how pretty they are. So they've got these like clusters of blooms that come up and it's like, you know, every couple inches, there's another set of blooms. It's got a whole bunch of buds ready to pop up. I don't know what they are. And then like, if you look at this one, look at this is like a deeper, darker variety right here compared to this one. So I don't know. I don't know what they are, but they're just gorgeous. And the bees are really enjoying them. I can see all of the pollen on them and they look fun. The blooms on the peas are really pretty. They're like pink and blue and like a magenta color. And I don't remember what variety I planted of the peas this year, but they came out this deep, deep purple and I'm just really enjoying it. So I got to make sure I find, figure out what variety I planted and then find it for next year because I'm just really enjoying those this year. So this is where I... I planted the ranunculus. They were in this entire corner from like basically the hoop over. But then I had some ranunculus seeds or I, I had some nasturtium seeds that kind of just like took over and now they're trailing down everywhere. And then it's kind of also taking over the hardy geraniums that I have here and the other wildflowers and stuff that are growing in the back. So I'm going to try to gently not kill, but just move this nasturtium out of the way so I can harvest all of the corms that I know are in here. So let's do it. Okay, I've got a nice big tray. Got a fork here. Which hopefully I can figure out what is going on what. Oh, I've got some peas that are growing back here. I don't know if I can loop them through. Get them to climb. There we go. The nasturtiums this year, you guys, are going 
pull out. Okay. Oh. Okay, I don't know exactly how many quorums I planted you guys, but they should also be creating more of them, which is definitely what it looks like is happening. We'll rinse these. But this was one corm, and now it looks like there's at least three or four, maybe. So we'll rinse them and we'll break them apart. Okay, so this is what I pulled. I feel like I maybe lost some. Maybe they disintegrated. I don't know, I searched around the dirt quite a bit, but some of them are really tiny and hard to see. So, I don't know, I found as many as I could. I'm just gonna break off any of this dead stuff. Throw that in the compost. Gonna hose off the dirt here to kind of like see what this looks like. Sorry, worms. Chew back in the garden bed. Okay, so this is what they look like. Let's see how many. One. See, and then they grow new ones, kind of like tulip bulbs grow new ones. So, like, this is one. This is technically two. And this is three. There's a fourth one. Four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Little baby ones, but still they count. Oh, this is a big one. Okay, this one might want to live together. We'll let that one live together for a bit. Big one. <laughs> Okay, that's like 30-ish, give or take, vernaculus. Some big, some itty bitty, but that's pretty exciting. Okay, let's go put these to dry. Okay, so this is our makeshift drying rack in this tray, which has, you know, good airflow coming through. I just put them on some plant stands, hook up a little fan, get it blowing on them, and then we'll just let these dry for the next week or two or however long it takes until they're dried out, and then we'll be able to store them. And I'm just going to store them in a paper bag in the garage. And uh, our garage is not heated, so it's kind of whatever temperature it is outside. Um, but they did really fine. They did perfectly fine here last winter. So I think it'll be perfectly fine this year. Who's to say that anything will change. Um, so first ranunculus harvest um, from the garden, which was super exciting. So that was a really quick, simple project. And I think I'm just gonna leave that for the day. The only other thing I wanted to work on today was I'm just gonna shovel a whole bunch of loads of um, extra used soil and from the compost pile those two piles i'm just going to shovel them and use the wheelbarrow and keep bringing them over to fill these two beds up as you can see i've been layering them steady i'm almost to the point where i'm ready to add some seaweed and some other stuff 
and get the top layer going. And I wanna have those going in the next month or so. So I'm just kind of slowly as I go, filling them up with compost, you know, dead grass, lots of brown and green things, um, and just kind of filling them up slowly as I go. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to doing a full, much bigger cut flower garden next year. I think that will be a blast. I just feel like it's, you just have to do things in the garden that make you happy. And I didn't realize how much being able to cut flowers and put them in vases in my house just filled me up. And so that is what I'm gonna do next year. I'm gonna focus more on cut flowers and I'm also gonna expand the garlic and the potato bed and some of the things that you know I eat very regularly in our household and that are just gonna really give us the biggest bang for our buck when using our garden bed space. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you later.